morning guys welcome back to another video it is wednesday february 21st it's 11 15 i've been waking up a little bit later because i've been going to bed a little bit later i'm sitting down to have a little pre-workout slash kind of breakfast brunch before i go to the gym i just have Dave's Killer Bagels, because I love these forever, with some whipped cream cheese and then some jumbo blueberries. These are in season. And if you are somebody that only likes a crunchy blueberry, jumbo blueberries are where it is at. I don't know what, I don't know what they're putting in this stuff. Probably GMOs, not great, but I'm starting to not weigh out my food as much because I feel like I have a pretty good idea when it comes to portions. I'm tracking my calories, but I'm doing it like with 70 to 80% accuracy. It's more so just so I can have a ballpark of like what I'm eating in a day. So we're gonna have this. As of yesterday, I started reading my mom's Bible. And yes, like this is fully my mother's Bible. And it's really special because um, she has notes in here. She has some things that she's underlined. She also has this bookmark of all of these different verses that she had wanted to read. And I've pretty much kept this Bible the same since she passed and it's been like very protected by me this whole time. But look, there's another one. This was clearly like a receipt. Where was this too? Looks like in and out to be honest. Oh no, burrito. It's so faded. Oh, it was McDonald's. <laughs> It was a breakfast burrito. Oh, we probably got it together. So she has like all of these verses in here. It's been really powerful because towards the end of her life, she would sign off on different verses that she had read. It's just really cool to see like things that my mom felt the need to sign after she had read it. I'm also like researching it as I'm reading because there's some stuff in here that I just don't understand. I swear reading the Bible is like reading Shakespeare. And I also have my mom's picture here. This is actually a picture I took of her on our Polaroid. It's an original. This has just been a really, really great way for me to bond with my mom. It's been really special. And Ryan's coming through the door right now. <laughs> Hi. Oh, wow. Yeah. You gotta, uh, can't be so depressed in here. You know what I'm saying? You gotta have all of the lights on. It's a very sad vibe in this house. I like the natural light. Yeah, it's good to have both. Love you. Love you. See you later, baby. See you. Off to the trenches. Off to oh, the trenches. Okay, that. got home. It was such a good workout and I picked up my packages uh, while I was down there because it's like next to the mail room and I want to show you guys the very few things that I got. One, I'm in my cleaning girl era. I don't know how honestly I've gone so long. Oh, wait, why doesn't it say anything about the bathroom? Do not compost. Okay, I think I can use this anywhere, but it says safe around kids, pets, and foods, and these are like the Clorox compostable wipes, and it's best for baby kids area, pet areas, and kitchen areas. But I did also want to use this to like wipe down my toilet and stuff to keep it clean, and now I'm like, is this not actually disinfecting it? Without dyes, bleach, or ammonia. I mean, I would imagine that I can still wipe down the toilet with this, right? Because this was more expensive than the regular wipe, so now I'm like, fuck, I don't know. We'll figure it out, because now I don't know. I'm not gonna compost it, I just wanted something that was like better for the environment because even I got compostable bins at my apartment but they don't let us they're like even if it says it's compostable unless it's food don't even bother so okay anyway I also got a two pack of these lights that Ryan and I have had our eyes on for a long time on Amazon it says 16 million colors right here but they're just like really nice and discreet it's like a big black bar and I'm thinking we might do one in the bedroom and one up here, or one in the bedroom and one downstairs because we don't have any lighting downstairs except for the ones that are like recess lighting built into the apartment, but we want something that's like a little bit more softer to have to light up the living space. And I feel like this could look really cool next to Vermicelli's bed, like tucked into that corner. You know what I mean? 
Ryan's coming home again. Why are you always coming home again? Sorry guys, he came home once again. But I was saying the light right where his bed is. I feel like tucked into that corner could be really cool. I don't know. That will be a discussion for Ryan and I to have when he's not in the middle of his work day. The lights came in. Oh, sick. And then I got Vermicelli a little cat tunnel because he loves them. But this is the little cat tunnel I got him and it like opens up. This is still a work in progress. I think we are gonna end up opening a storage unit because Ryan just has too much stuff that is making this space look like more cluttered. I mean, and I'm not much better. I'm a little bit better, but his is like absolute chaos. Well, I also got this new vacuum and I'm really excited about it. And now I vacuum like every single day. Right now I am going to take a shower because I was sweating so much and I feel sticky and stinky. Sticky and stinky. I'm gonna take a shower, I'm gonna drink this, and then unless you're making food, food. never mind, I'll still have this and whatever Ryan's making. And then I just have some videos that I need to edit for Tiki Talk and Instagram. That's kind of it. I feel like I've had a very active day. I'm tired. I also watched Usher's halftime show while I was doing cardio. And before I even watched the halftime show, I texted Ryan and Liana actually. And I was like, I really want to go to this Usher concert because he's performing in LA in September and November. I just realized like I know almost all of Usher's songs, like almost all of them. Every song that was a hit, I know it by heart. And like I've loved him since I was like nine years old. So I don't know, the halftime show was, he's still obviously so talented and the fact that he's whatever, 50 something years old or four, I don't know how old he is, but he looks incredible for his age. He still looks like he's 20 years old. He's still got it. But I... Well, damn, why don't you go be with Usher? <laughs> that shit is crazy. Love him since you were nine years old. That's crazy. <laughs> I looked up tickets, and they actually were not that expensive, so I'm going to force my boyfriend to go with me, and maybe Liana and Curtis will come with us too, which I think will be really fun. I am going to go take a shower, drink this protein shake, and by the time I come back, Ryan should be done making... What are you making? Uh, some bread, I'm uh, gonna make four eggs. How many do you want? I'll have three. So I'll make the eggs for you. I'm gonna have apples, Actually, I can have two eggs. No, I'll have three. Apples, blueberries. I don't know, man. I'm bad at this whole camera thing. I'm gonna make some stuff that's gonna be good and healthy. Oh, wow. Okay, great. If you want a good protein shake, I talk about these all the time. They're, look, they're not the best, okay? But it's been the, ve the best vegan protein shake that doesn't make me want to die. Like the powdered ones I've had are just not that good. And even like I've tried Beam, I've tried all of them and they're good, they're good, but I'm not phoning home about them. And this is just like ready, it's pre-mixed, it's recyclable, you know, it doesn't have, I don't know. It's just, it's good. And it's 32 grams of protein and it gets the job done. Oh, and chocolate protein shakes. I actually have like subscribe and save on Amazon for these and they just come every three to four weeks because I will burn through them in three to four weeks, so. No, there's no way. Oh! Oh! Wait, that was crazy. Why were you so confident that you were gonna like land that? Well, you said actually land it good. You did land it good, didn't you? Also, look how good the bedroom looks during the day. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, isn't it, dude? A little bit shy, huh? He's feeling your baby. Oh, look at that. Oh, 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 Ryan's new thing has been eating from a cutting board, and it actually kind of just looks cool. It like always looks like he's having a charcuterie experience, but he did give me a plate. Thanks, baby. No problem, baby. What the? Sorry, I'm being weird. <laughs> that was weird. He said, what the? What the? <laughs> Today is Wednesday, meaning that Love is Born just released three new episodes. And uh, we just got caught up last night. Honestly, it couldn't be better or more perfect timing. 
that. I mean, wow. He's been cooking more and it's been great. He's gonna, he made me this. I mean, granted, this is obviously super simple. And I have a tendency when we're hanging out to be on my phone, but I'm not like doom scrolling. I'm playing like Laku Doku or I'm playing Best Fiends or whatever. He said tonight we're doing phones, no phones upstairs. I'm like, I respect that. These dogs are sitting here begging, going damn well. Actually, you guys did not get any treats today. Okay, I'll give you a blueberry each, half. workspace a lot more efficient. It'll make our place look a lot cleaner. What about these three jeans right here? These ones are gonna keep, I guess. You guess? Can you just help bring this to my car? Yeah, no, I can. Let me go with you to the storage unit. High five. Okay, let's go become a vlogger. While there was a lot of progress made, I just feel like this area still needs a bit of a spruce up and I know Ryan's really tired and he's gonna cook dinner. Yada, yada, yada. I love what I did with this because we don't really have like a ton of storage here. I mean, we don't have storage here at all. Couldn't utilize like any of this before because all of Ryan's rules were down here. We have a ton of desk space by putting this stuff under here, but like it still looks cool under there and everything seems uniform. Out of 10, what are we giving it? 11. <gasps> 11 out of 10. Thank you so much for doing that. Yeah, no problem, baby. He made us dinner. Looks like white rice, ground turkey with some bell pepper and mushrooms. Yours, yours looks like dog food. Mine looks better. It doesn't look like dog food. Well, you like see all the meat on top. <laughs> I have my ketchup there because I might have that. But we are officially starting our date night and <laughs> basically what we would be doing anyway. <laughs> Love is Blind just released three new episodes before the grand finale. So we're gonna watch that right now. Probably like one episode, maybe two. Okay. Two. Two? Yes. Ready? Okay. Partnership. Yeah. I love you. Put me through. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna see the He's wearing like a those kind of underwear like that. Boxer briefs. Bruh, those are boxer briefs where half of your ass cheek comes out. You don't see where it's coming through? Show that on the camera and let people decide. That's that's not normal, man. I think you are an amazing person. And I think like and he's wearing the world of But look at that, bro. Zoom in on his little line right there. I feel like that's just a line in his boxer briefs. There's no way he's wearing Bro, underwear. there's no seam that's that big. What do you guys think? And guys that are wearing boxer briefs, they don't want to have a line that makes it look like they're wearing. Yeah, but he doesn't seem like he thinks about things like that. I made my sleepy girl mocktail, sleepy time mocktail. And I also made one for Ryan. It's been a thing that I've seen it's so good on TikTok. And it's basically half a cup of tart cherry juice, specifically tart cherry cherry juice because it has something called tryptophan which is an amino acid that helps your body produce more melatonin melatonin so they say i've been using the calm magnesium powder i bought it for like 25 bucks at sprouts and so i do like a teaspoon of that and then i add in a poppy drink because obviously it's like 
no calories, it tastes delicious, and it's good for your gut. The first time I did strawberry lemonade, and that was so good. And then yesterday we used one of Ryan's cherry limeade sparkling waters. Don't recommend. <laughs> it's just, I mean, it wasn't bad. It was just super, super tart. But tonight I did raspberry rose with the tart cherry juice. Damn, raspberry rose. Cheers to raspberry rose. It was I'm delusionally tired. <laughs> anyway, it's really good for you. It tastes great and it's making, mm, it makes my bowel movements a lot more regular and I sleep really good throughout the night. We're gonna set up these lamps that I got on Amazon. We're having a deal where it was two for $75. did it. Ignore the fact that you can kind of see it poking through the back. What do we think? I think it looks pretty snazzy. It looks so good. That's cool. Oh, I like all of them. I know, right? This just made the room so much cooler. Maybe we should get two more. Oh, look. <laughs> yeah. morning is beautiful out today. The rain is truly, truly gone. Although I'm sure, like they always say, we needed it. Aunt Flo is in town. She showed up five days early. Gotta love that. It's actually probably a good sign. It's kind of late. I slept like shit. I woke up at like eight and I had dream, like I fell back asleep and I continued to dream and tell people <sighs> about how badly I slept. Today is going to be a coffee day and then I have a lunch event situation that I'm going to the Dermalogica, which is going to be fun stuff. He breaks off these freaking balls every time. And like fast. He breaks them off fast. Yes. Is it time for food? Okay. My period definitely started. It's not even like a, maybe I'm just spotting. Like it, it's a light flow at the moment. Because you guys are so curious to know what day one of my period is like, right? Still feeding the pups. Spot and Tango. Prince is getting a little bit finicky with it now, but Duke still treats it like it's the best day of his life. I have started adding bone broth to it, at least. I was just doing it for Prince. Duke doesn't notice, but I still just feel bad. You know, I'm like, oh, that doesn't feel fair. This is what I'm using right now. Merrick's bone broth. Got it at PetSmart. But I bet you Prince is still gonna be a little bit of a brat. And I just kinda like, do one of these. Gotta hit him with one of these. <laughs> Good boy. I need to clean that water bowl, but I don't want to disrupt what's happening here. So we're just going to wait. So my last video, I was saying that I had an issue around cleaning and I, as dramatic as it sounds, have realized that it was a, a, a trauma thing. Like it was fully just, I used to be one of the cleanest people ever and I remained a very clean person when I moved into my first apartment, but after like two months, I just ended up hiring a maid. And my cleaners have always been amazing. So sweet, I've just been very lucky hiring great, 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 great cleaners. This is besides the point. Instead of learning or like reteaching myself how to clean, even though I already know how, right? Like cleaning is not difficult, but if you're somebody who struggles with OCD, ADHD, I mean, so many people struggle with decision paralysis, but if you're somebody that struggles with it, you do start, he's eating. What a good boy, Prince. That's a win. That's a win, you ate it all! Okay, let me unplug this now. Being that I have unlocked this trauma, this thing where I just like, I can't clean, it's too much of a reminder of the past. Though I don't think, yeah, ew, ew. Though I don't think it was like an active 
thought. Like I wasn't sitting around like, oh, I'm not cleaning because I'm sad because I miss my mom. It wasn't that. To me, I was just like, no, I just don't want to clean. And I would get like really offended about it. You know, like I was like, no, like I'll help with laundry, but like everything, I don't want to scrub the toilet. I don't want to scrub the sink. I don't want to do that. Ryan and I would just hire cleaners. Ryan would help a lot with stuff. I mean, we were just, it was a team effort. I've been hanging out with more of my girlfriends. I'm seeing how clean they are. Liana came over and barred me up. She's like, dude, what the fuck? She's like, look, this is still not okay. And I was like, wow. And it's obviously so embarrassing to say that online. Like what? I don't even know how to keep a clean house. Like, come on now. But I really was just not trying. And I was just always like, well, I'll just hire somebody because I don't want to do it myself. Anyway, now <laughs> in the last week, maybe two weeks, I've become obsessed with cleaning, but not in a bad way, at least not yet. I don't think it's gonna get to that point. There are a few things that have like really changed my mindset and I'm gonna put it on the screen and we're gonna go over it together, okay? Oh, this is not it. Oh, maybe it's not in here. Okay, maybe we're not gonna put it on the screen. It's like the power of habits and atomic habits like J by James Clear. If something is gonna take you two minutes, two minutes, it's 120 seconds, just do it. Fine, it might end up taking five minutes after it's all said and done, but if, if it's gonna take two minutes to throw a load in the washing machine, two minutes to throw that load into the dryer machine, maybe five minutes to fold it and put it away, you could even save that for another day. I don't care, just do it. If it's gonna take two minutes, to load the dishes into the dishwasher, do it. If it's gonna take two minutes to scrub a water bowl and whatever, do it. I have these things that, <laughs> got it, yeah. If I have these things that are not gonna take me any time, I need to just do it. I've been feeling so much better. I've been feeling so much better in this space. It's the weirdest thing. I finally got a really good vacuum. We had one with a cord, which I get it. First world problems, could we keep using this one? Yeah, but I want the wireless one. Sorry, if it's gonna help me clean more, sorry. Sorry. Not the Shark wireless vacuum. It's called like the Pro Pet. It's orange and black. I'll link it down below. It is amazing. It has two different attachments. It gets into all the, cr it's just so good. So what I do now is I wake up in the morning, go upstairs and vacuum the bathroom that Ryan and I use because, well actually I vacuum both bathrooms because vermicelli gets litter all over the floor in the guest bathroom and it's so gross stepping into crunchy litter. I'll vacuum in there and then I go upstairs and I vacuum that bathroom. Two minutes, not kidding. This has to take me six seconds total and then we have a black suede but it's 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 leaning more velvet at this point with the way that it like holds on to dust and whatever so I've been running the vacuum over the sofa this is two minutes it's two minutes and it feels really good doing that it's such a small thing that makes a big difference and then I'm just like making it a point to like I disinfected the downstairs toilet and counters and everything last night. It can be so hard to create the routine, but I feel like we also complicate it. This is really just a conversation for people who struggle with cleanliness. The place is still a work in progress. Like there are still things that we need to do in terms of like finishing my office area. We have some clutter here that we need to figure out. And really what sucks is a lot of it is just my shit. I want to blame it on Ryan, but I can't. I want to blame every, I'm like, Ryan, this is your fault but it's not. This is my mirror that I need to sell or give away or figure out what I'm gonna do with it. This is the vacuum that Ryan was gifted from a previous lover. It's fine. I actually, it's fine. It's, it's a great vacuum. She did a great job. That's PR that I need to sort through, which should probably go over there. We're gonna end up putting this mirror up. We're gonna give Ryan's mom this vacuum. Back here for now. And the other shit in the living room. And this is like a little shelf that Ryan got, but we need the drill to set it up. La di da di da. I mean, it already kind of looks a lot better. So, um, this is just what I've got, okay? Well, I wouldn't necessarily define my cleaning process as perfect. It's definitely a start. And much like the gym or any other habit that you're gonna, like, that you wanna create for yourself, we can't complicate things. That's my tip of the day for you guys, is to just do it, get it done, you'll be happy you did it. It just creates a better environment for you and for everyone that comes over. Honestly, once you get into it, cleaning's actually kind of fun. We're gonna give this a good scrub. This nasty. Why are you 
running in here like that? Working on it, Vermicelli. Somebody said to me in my last video, and they were super nice about it, but they're like, hey, maybe you should try and get some reusable towels. That way you're not creating so much waste. And yeah, I, I ordered some, but I just wasn't gonna wait because at the end of the day, I would use something like that to just have me not clean. Sometimes you do need to just use some extra paper towels to get your house clean. When it's that much of a problem and you're somebody who just doesn't do well with just getting it done, don't overcomplicate it for yourself. If you need to use paper towels and you don't wanna create more of a mess for yourself with actually using towels that you can wash, start with paper towels. And I guarantee once you get better, better at it, like even for me now, I'm like, okay, I kind of just need towels. And I saw a girl on TikTok and she had like her own, well, if you're gonna jump, jump. Oh, 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 no. He did not clear that. <laughs> are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, he's fine. Sometimes I'm like, are you actually a cat? My friend said that to me too. So I was like, fuck, I need to get, I need to get towels. I need to, and she was like, how about we just start with what you have. If creating more laundry and more mess for yourself is gonna stress you out, just don't do that. So anyway, what I was gonna say is this girl had like her own, it was like a small little waste bin and she would fill up that with dirty towels and then she would wash them all together because I think that was the other thing that deterred me is like I can be kind of weird when it comes to my laundry. Like I don't wanna wash my body, I don't wanna, I don't wanna wash my body towels with towels that I use to like clean something like this, even though it's all getting scrubbed away, like it just, it feels kind of icky to me, you know? It's just an, yet another in thing. <laughs> it's just another thing for me to invest in and I spent quite a bit of money. Actually not much, cause it's, I just, I just mean, my brain is going a million miles a minute. I just mean that I feel like I've spent a lot of money on like decorating the bedroom and all that stuff and um, we're trying to a little economical. Maybe I'll go to the dollar store and get something. Oh, this is clean. And let me tell you, it was nasty before. That may have actually taken more like 15 minutes, but... <laughs> besides the point. That is besides the point. I did extra things, but that's kind of the fun of it, right? It's like you're dreading having to maybe scrub the dog bowl, which like I didn't have to do. I could have just put it in the dishwasher and given them like a, a different dog bowl to drink out of, but I had the time. But it's just about like, I kind of like that once I start, I start seeing things, I'm like, oh, I need to do that. Oh, I need to do this. Like that's the fun of it for me. But I also completely get that that's not the case for everybody. So I don't know, go at your own pace. I also did this that made things a lot easier. I got this little caddy on Amazon. It has like all of my necessary sprays and scrubs and uh, hand gloves. I got the pink stuff. I have my laundry detergent here, my wipes, refills for my mop. This is nice because it pulls out, but it has like everything. I got my rinse aid, scrub daddy. It makes it easy because I know exactly where I need to read for. Okay, that just needs to be pushed down, but yeah. Now everyone's happy. I'm usually never one to have caffeine in the morning on an empty stomach, but today was desperate. I got a flat white. This is like the one coffee drink, Vermicelli's cat hair is in here, that I can drink without needing sweetener, which is really a rare thing. It could use a little bit of sweetener, a little bit of sugar, but I'm just gonna leave it because it's already like getting cold. I have to go to that Dermalogica event. It starts in 30 minutes, it's from 12 to three. But they did give me an Uber link and code, which is great. So I think, oh my gosh, they gave me an $85 credit. They don't know that I live downtown. Wow, within five miles, wow, that's awesome. I definitely won't use all of that, but I'm gonna take advantage of the Uber because parking in downtown is a nightmare. So I think this is the plan right now. I'm gonna go wash my face and brush my teeth. I did all that cleaning, but Duke has been a really good boy recently and like he'll go sit at the front door when he's ready to go to the bathroom. So I, I listen to him, I'm not gonna make things complicated. He's literally telling me in the best way he knows how that he needs to go potty. So he'll go and sit at the door and like literally patiently wait there until I can take him to go to the bathroom. So I tend to just drop everything. So I basically took the dogs for a walk and came home to clean. So now I'm gonna go upstairs, brush my teeth, do my makeup, change. And honestly, that should be more than enough time for the event. Look at you, bunny. Look at my baby. Look at this thing. You know how perfect you are? 
You're not all that perfect when it comes to your behavior, but that's mommy's fault, huh? I love you. All right, all right. I have to vacuum the bathroom really quick. You want to change your life? You want to be different? You want to be better? Listen up, mother. Listen up, mother. Just do it. Just do it. My kitchen looks beautiful right now. Look at Ryan's desk during the day. Oh, it looks so good. We have his mood board up there that he worked so hard on. I was like, look, I know you're bad with your hats. I just need you to fold them and put them back in here. This is easy. This is simple. I think it still looks like this because he didn't put on a hat today. He got like his little things that he likes. This is actually cool. This is literal vintage. Ryan is obsessed with like vintage anything and I get it because it is pretty cool. Sewing machines, we kind of redid this. We got this at Ikea. It's really cool. You just put little hooks on it and things that inspire him, but also knickknacks he needs. This is his drawing tablet that he uses for design. Laptop goes here. I got him this. He loves like spray painted numbers and stuff. And I got him this from Daiso. We're gonna put that back the way it was. Okay. Okay. And now we're using it as his little pen, pencil, art folder. His board is down here. The mat that he uses to stretch on is somewhat covering the wires for now. But I think this is my favorite part. Like I think all of his books look so cool with his spray paint, all of his boards, some denim that he doesn't know what to do with yet. It looks so good. And then we've got my area. <laughs> I'll probably work on this tomorrow, realistically. I just don't think I have time to do it today. The biggest thing is like getting rid of our old nightstands and then I just have a shit ton of PR boxes. Like this is even more PR in here. <laughs> just stuff that I need to go through and like organize into my drawers. Books, like it's just, it's a lot, but it's not a lot. I just need to figure out a solution for it and then everything will be fine. So I'll make sure to film that. Duke, but I know you can get that. Go get it. Duke, get the ball. Get the ball. You just needed some encouragement. No, get the ball. Get it, Dookie. <gasps> Good boy. You just needed some encouragement. I mean, just wow. You know, just wow. I, I am like proud to live here right now. This is a beautiful space. I need to get ready. I'm definitely gonna be late. Oh. oh. He fucked up these chairs. What are you doing? Oh, you want to attack me? So scary. So scary. This is our game. I love you. Mwah. The way I know if he's actually mad, which he just normally really isn't, is if he gives me an angry meow. He'll go like, Aah. I don't have a ton of time to get ready. Do I start with my hair or my makeup? I'm gonna do my hair, cause that is, I'm not gonna feel polished until that's done. I'm doing this like Rick today. This has been such a game changer. I've tried using the creams and everything and nothing holds my hair the way that this does. Like I'm either fighting for my life, spraying my hair wet and putting cream in my hair or I'm just brushing my hair and then pasting this over top. Like it's not that serious. What I'll do is brush it out, get the tangles out. I need to wash my hair today. You pull out the hair from your brush after you brush your hair. I don't know if I just learned that from beauty school because I never used to do that before, but I can't just throw it back in after like I'm removing all the hair and throwing it away. I'll do my initial paste just to make my life a little bit easier. Because I have so many flyaways back there. Just like around the borders of my hair. My baby hairs always hurt so much back here. Be gentle with them. First, we're gonna brush the hair back with a brush like this. It doesn't have soft bristles because this is gonna just help manage the hair, get out any last minute tangles. And it's kind of like when there's a little bit of a bump at the top, you're going for that egg head look, you know?
Great, now I feel polished. That's where it's at. Okay, I'm gonna use the Say Super Gel in Sunkiss Sun Glow. This has been such a good primer, especially during these winter months. I want it to look like I just came back from the Caribbean, even though I came back from nowhere from my living room. So love Say because their products do not clog my pores. I have skin that is prone to breakouts if there are certain ingredients. Use acneclinicnyc.com. It's supposed to be the most like up to date for products that pore clogging ingredients. I to save my skin. I'm using the Tower 28 concealer in MDR. This is like truly a perfect, perfect shade match. We're just gonna do it underneath the eyes. Like here, we're getting some redness. Blending out concealer, not leaving any streaks. This concealer is so good. I'm literally obsessed with this. Do a little bit over my eyes. Makeup's done. I need to request an Uber. We gotta bounce. I am so, so late, but that's fine because I'm still showing up, okay? <laughs> absolutely just bad. I just have to say, it is so seldom that I go to an event and I like leave it feeling recharged and excited and like I really took something away from my experience. I had an amazing time at that event and I'm so glad because when I tell you I woke up this morning, I slept so bad, I was like, I just don't, like I don't wanna be around anyone. And if my period started, then I deserve to lay in bed all day. But one of the challenges that I am forcing myself to face this year is like not giving in to when I wanna coddle myself and I feel like because I work from home, it's so easy to just say, no, not today, not today. I did enough this week, not today. I went to that event, everybody was so kind, the estheticians, the girls that were in attendance of the event that were also content creators, the people who put on the event, like it was just a really, really great job and I told them that at the end and you could just tell they were so flattered and so grateful because they probably don't hear that a lot and I don't I don't think I've ever really thought about that, that it must be so much work and there's probably not a lot of, especially the people attending saying like, hey, you guys did an incredible job. Whitney Port was there. I know you guys know who Whitney Port is because she's from the hills, she's from the city, she was like Lauren Conrad's coworker but also kind of like best friend and she was just sitting amongst everyone but she was working with Dermalogica the event and I was like Whitney I love you you were so like you were such an influential part of my teen years it was really nice chatting with her I also connected with a beautiful soul named Zoe Alexandra she's also a content creator on Instagram YouTube TikTok I sat next to her and I just started talking to her and I ended up we just talked for so long and I felt like I definitely left there making a friend the product let me talk about the product this is my little goodie bag. Pro Collagen Banking Serum. This product doesn't actually contain collagen. It basically helps to protect and preserve the collagen that you currently do have, as opposed to just pumping more collagen into your skin. And it makes your skin visibly plumper, more luminous, and hydrating to help reduce the look of fine lines in the future. I'm not using a serum before bed right now, so I feel like this could be a really great product. Okay, just sit with me while I game plan this really quick. I'm going to immediately order a Z3 extra battery, or Z30 extra battery because I need that. And then I'm gonna sit down and we'll unbox the Brooklyn and bedding because I need to wash it. And I would like to get that set up today. And then I do have to do some content for them for a brand deal. And then I think I'm gonna edit a TikTok, maybe two TikToks and post them. And then I'm gonna try to start editing this vlog. And then at 5.30, someone from Ryan's work is going to come and fit my jeans, which is awesome because it's so close, so she's gonna pop by and help me get my jeans fit and right. Okay, let's do it. This battery is dying, so let's see how long I have to order this battery. Nikon Z30 battery. That's what I'm talking about. $68! Oh, they're kind of all that price. Oh, that kind of is my only option. I'm just gonna buy that two pack. It's okay, it's a business expense, and they actually have a $10 coupon, so it's $58. Fine, fine, take my money. I ordered it. What did I say I was gonna do next? Open Brooke Linen. Okay, come on. What if we all stayed away from the knife? I'm not gonna record myself throwing it in the wash, but I'm gonna do that right now. Oh, that's cool. We've got the little side room. 
Hello. Happy birthday. Hello. Well, I want it. That doesn't know this. The part. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. 